Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, it looks like these high rain chances staying with us for a couple of more days. The rain chances should ease toward the weekend. Fingers crossed, but no guarantees on that. But I'm going to show you the model that shows you more rainfall than the model that shows less rainfall because the GFS has been outperforming the Euro. We'll get to that in just a bit. First off, though, here's the main story. We have this upper level trough and an upper level low that is just north of it, kind of draped across the Gulf Coast. And we knew this was going to start enhancing our rain chances starting today and it sure has and this upper low eventually drops down to the south and southwest and I'll eventually move toward Texas as we get closer to the weekend so that should allow high pressure to ridge in a little bit more so and maybe knock down some of our rain chances and get to more typical uh, summer weather but today a day with some sunshine early we got up to 91 degrees but then showers and storms kicking in and you can see they're generally moving from west to east following the periphery of that upper level trough that upper level low and that's how the storms are going to move pretty much again tomorrow and will continue to do so obviously through tonight as well. Some heavy storms on the radar even at this hour with a lot of cloud to ground lightning with this cell that is just near the Eunice area. Possibility of not only torrential downpours but maybe a little pea sized hail just north of Eunice as you go farther to the north up toward Mamu and you can see uh, rainfall in the Mamu area and then heading toward Ville Platte as well. That's coming your way. A little bit of a break around around Opelousas and Lawtel, but more precip on the way. Some shower activity moving east of Washington and then some locally heavy downpours. Eastern Acadia Parish from the Church Point area down through rain, heading through Doosan, eventually Scott and the rest of Lafayette. Meanwhile, along and north of, uh, we'll say Cameron Street, some very heavy downpours between uh, Lafayette and Karen Crow heading into the Poche Bridge area, Bro Bridge area as well. And then also some pretty hefty cells in around the New Iberia area through Lower Although this thunderstorm is weakening, we can see the activity back to the west is still on the way. So more on and off activity through this evening. In fact, we're going to keep rain chances at about 60% overnight tonight and back up to 80% tomorrow. And you can see how the storms have been firing up from I-10 all the way back through San Antonio, through I-10, over toward Mobile and the Florida Panhandle as well. Not the best weather for the beaches, but the good news is in the tropics, Gulf, Caribbean, and the entire Atlantic Basin are nice and quiet. There's some dust rolling across there, but we have a strong ridge of high pressure here that's really exerting its muscle, and some of that ridge of high pressure is going to slip into the eastern Gulf as we head into the middle part of this week. Notice still plenty of red over our area. This is atmospheric moisture, so that means there's going to be a good chance of showers and storms. That begins to ease a little bit Thursday, Friday as high pressure comes in. We'll still have afternoon storms, but the risk of them will get down into the 50 to 40 percent range by Friday. And then maybe Saturday, most of us see some drier air moving in. It could be wetter over toward eastern Louisiana. And there might be another upper level low that parks down here and then works its way westward, uh, enhancing our rain chances going into next week. And that would probably be the solution that would not be preferred, but most likely at this point. Um, by the way, the Euro is much drier. So scattered showers and storms overnight tonight through tomorrow. Some locally very heavy downpours and action tomorrow will be quieter in the morning. Morning, but as we get daytime heating going, we're going to see a good scattering of showers and storms and it will slow to end in the evening hours and then we'll do it all over again going into Wednesday. Although the latest model suggesting some of the heavier rains may just move east of Acadiana. We'll see how that plays out. Additional rainfall one to two inches for most of us. Uh, some spots though three to four. So there's going to be some localized street flooding not only in the near term, but through tomorrow and likely Wednesday as well. So lingering evening showers and storms more development later on tonight at rain chance at 60%. We'll hold in the mid uh, 70s tonight, low to mid 80s tomorrow. We're going to see plenty of clouds, much more cloud cover tomorrow and showers and storms just about at any time during the day with those locally heavy downpours and your rain chance at 80% tomorrow, 60% on Wednesday, 50% Thursday, and we're hoping and hoping that we see down to 20 to 30% for this weekend, but we know how it's been going. We've had that carrot at the end of the 